Hi everyone. If you wanted your method to return a type instead of void, so the void means this method will not return anything. It will just uh, display what is inside the method or does what it is designed to do within the method. But if you wanted your method to return a string or an integer or a double or an array or um, a data type that you create, then you need to indicate instead of the keyword void what type you want your method or what data type you want your method to return. So if we wanted to change this method to return the string, whether it was fan or not, then I could indicate the keyword or the data type string instead of void. Now the, the um, Eclipse is going to complain because this method is not really returning a string. So we need to change this so that this actually returns a string. So I'm going to define a string variable. I'll call this a message. And uh, the, uh, the message will also be returned in the end. But So now the program will stop complaining, but the message it doesn't really um, have anything. So it has, have, has not been initialized. So we initialize it depending on the statements. So if it was contained or if the uh, string was found, then message will be equal to, and I could just um, say message, uh, the keyword was found. Else, now if you wanted to display the keyword within quotations, so you could do that. So. So this will not really put quotations. And if you do this, now the compiler will complain. So you could just use the backwards slash and the same thing here. Okay. And we can just say was found. And I'll copy that. So this is just for printing purposes. I thought I mentioned it was not found. Okay, now when we call the method that returns um, a value, like a string in this case, so uh, this has to be consistent. The string is returning message. The message has to be a string. So these have to, has to match. Okay. Uh, you could also alternatively, instead of doing return message, you could also do this. So if it's this situation then return that but um, you might do this you want, might want to do this in case of if you wanted to just you know display more or do more work here so I prefer it this way okay it's again uh, depending on what you wanted to do so uh, I'll leave that for you to decide now when you call a method that returns something it's, it's it has to be captured. So the result has to be captured in a string input. So we could either capture that um, into a, a string variable or in a print print line statement. So I'll show you how to do that in a print line um, statement or print, but I'll use print line. Um, I'll use print line so I can get rid of that. So here I could just give a message and I'll say uh, search results uh, and I can display that from the method, method call. And the same thing goes here. So let's just give this a, a run. Let's see how it works. So I'm going to say this. And so it, um, you'll notice how it's actually printing the quotations um, using the backwards slash and um, now I'm going to enter a keyword that does not print uh, so that is not existing in our so for example test test was not found okay um, yeah so this this is one way to capture the a, a method that returns but what if you didn't want it to be in a print statement so you could define a a string variable called results or you could even call it message if you want so this is different from that variable and then um, what you do is um, capture the method return into that variable and then now you could just just play the results so this has to be 
done again. Okay, so it will work pretty much the same. Let's give it a run. So this was found and is was found. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.